Strategy plus intuition equals contentment. Hey ladies, today I want to talk about something that has been coming up a lot for the women um, and men who are taking the Understanding Your Child's Behavior mini course. So we are on, or when this recording is going out, we're on day four of day seven and so much amazing content. So how the courses ran is every day I'm solving a problem for them. Um, you know, common problems of how to stop yelling, how to create connection with your children, how to implement a boundary, um, you know, how to develop that deeper relationship and confidence and all of that fun stuff. And on day four, we were talking about implementing a boundary. But what I notice is there's some people who are like, oh my gosh, I got this. I've implemented it. I course corrected. I made it my own. And, you know, light bulbs, magic, behavior changes. Like I can sleep at night. This is amazing. And then I notice there's some people that will say, it's not working. I tried it. It's not working. And I will say it over and over and over again, that we live in a culture of perfection. We live in a culture of perfectionism with this mindset of all or nothing. And if you're not all in and it's perfect and everything is in alignment and you know it's sunny and the clouds have parted and you have all of this energy and you feel amazing and you know you could meal prep and your kids are perfect little angels, then you won't actually do the work. So there's this all or nothing mentality, which is killing us. It does not exist. It's this illusion of perfectionism. And you have to take this imperfect, messy action and have the courage to show up and just implement and do. And when you have the courage to show up and implement, say, well, that didn't go as planned. You ask yourself, what did work? And then you say, awesome, this worked really well. And you repeat that process and then you course correct the remaining. But with this belief system of all or nothing, perfection, you will never achieve the desired result or outcome that you want because you're not trying, you're not showing up, you're not implementing, you're not taking action. So with anything, everyone's an expert on themselves. Everyone is an expert on their children. Everyone is an expert on their own life and their own situations. So when people look to me and say, Heather, tell me, show me the way, fix my children, fix my life. It doesn't work like that because I am not you. And this facade that we project onto other people, this like responsibility that we project on other people, what we're not doing is taking ownership for our own wants and desires. And so I may have a tool or a strategy or a language or a way of being or a template, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to work for you. So you take it and you implement it into your life, into your wants, into your desires. And you ask yourself, does this work for me? Does it not work for me? Who am I if I am showing up every single day? Who am I without my struggles? Who am I without my worries? So taking the strategy, whether it's business strategy, whether it's parenting strategy, whether it's a food strategy, a fitness strategy, schedule, meal plan, projected outcome. And then you got to remember that you're a human. You have to remember that you have this wisdom within you from your intuition that will tell you, this feels good, this doesn't feel good. Oh my gosh, this feels good, but it scares the shit out of me. This doesn't feel good. I'm not going to do it. You have to listen to that voice. 
Because when you pair the strategy with your intuition, that is where the magic happens. Strategy with your internal guidance system, that is when you find contentment in your life. Because then when people are throwing other things at you like, well, you should try this or you should do this or, oh, I have something that will fix that problem for you. You can then find this internal confidence to say, I'm actually not working on solving that problem right now. That problem actually isn't a big problem for me right now. Because people always want to throw things at you because they are not willing to solve their own problems. So when it comes to parenting or anything else in your life, I want you to take the strategy that you are being presented with and implement it. Well, of course, if you don't take action, nothing's going to happen. But mix it up with your intuition. Does this feel good? Does this not feel good? And if it feels good, but it's scary, then you got to do it. If it feels good and it's not scary, then go do it. If it feels bad, it's like, ugh, no, not this, and it's scary, then don't do it. And if it doesn't light you up and you're like, eh, I don't really want to do that, and you're fine with it, you're neutral, then don't do it. Just because there's a strategy, but it's not something that's motivating for you, Don't do it. End of discussion. Those two things paired together, along with implementing and taking action, this is how you cultivate and create contentment in your life. You got this.